everyone, so we are at the airport and we're waiting for our flight. We just got a little snack from Paramount. This is a chicken shawarma wrap. Here is what the chicken shawarma looks like inside. It is so delicious. We just checked into our hotel in Hong Kong and I'm going to show you our room. So it's really small but we got like a really budget friendly place because the hotels in Hong Kong are very expensive. So here I am, this is just the little closet directly um, to the right of the entranceway. And then what you see here is basically the room. It's actually not too small. There's a lot of floor space out in front of me here. So we just have the bed. We have a desk with a mirror. We have the bathroom, which is a decent size, but there's no tub. It's just a shower stall. And then we have a big TV here. And that's basically the room. This in front of me here is actually the window, but it's um, very reflective, so I guess we will see the view tomorrow. And there's also a little bench here. We went out in search of food. I had two restaurants on my list and it took us a while to find them. We ended up finding them both, but they were both closed. So we actually just resorted to buying some um, Chinese buns because it was really close to our hotel and that's the only thing that was open. So we'll see how they taste. They don't feel all that soft. We bought two of the barbecue pork buns, two of the coconut buns, we bought an egg tart, and that one is Lo Pao Bang, a drink that I love. I used to buy the concentrated stuff and make my own. It's basically a black currant drink, and then my hubby bought a Hong Kong style milk tea, and I bought one for tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is our first full day in Hong Kong, and I'm really excited to get started with the day. It's going to be a very light day of just shopping and eating, but after yesterday's dinner. I'm excited to eat something else because the buns really weren't that good. I do have to say though that the lo pao bang or the wife biscuit and the egg tart were both really good. I was way too exhausted to look for food yesterday but I am eager to eat a lot of good meals today. My hubby went downstairs to check out the breakfast selection. I think there are only croissants and things like that, nothing too exciting. So while I put on my makeup, he went to do that. He's actually been up since four in the morning, but I woke up at my planned time of seven. So I am very well rested and hopefully I'll be able to stay awake the entire day. Here is the view from our hotel room. We're on the 30th floor and as you can see it's just buildings, buildings and more buildings. So a very um, typical Hong Kong scenic view of um, the density. So we are ready to head out. My hair is extremely fluffy today. I just did like a loose beachy wave. Here is what I'm wearing. This top is from American Apparel. This scarf. I can't remember where I got it, I think H&M, but many, many, many years ago. My jeans are American Apparel, they're the high-waisted ones, and of course I have my Crocs on. In terms of my purse, I brought this Fendi bag. I brought this to Hong Kong with me, I think it was last year or the year before, and it worked out so well. Just really, really loved it. It holds a ton of stuff, it can go cross-body, and it goes with pretty much everything. We are walking to our dim sum place. It's called Tim Ho Wan and you guys have probably heard of it. It's basically a Michelin one star dim sum place and it is a chain so there are multiple locations. But this one is close to our hotel. It's um, about half an hour walk so it's not too bad. This is actually a different one than I had on my travel cards, but it worked out even better because it's um, open an hour earlier. So uh, we ordered our dim sum on these sheets here. These ones are the tasu bao. These are like the ones they have at R&D, which is the Master Chef Canada restaurant. 
and they look really delicious. We have one that's like smaller, it's a little bit squish. Here is the inside of the barbecue pork bun. These ones here are the ham sarkok. It's basically a deep fried um, glutinous rice shell with pork inside. This is the inside of the ham sarkok. Pretty much all of our dishes came at the same time. This first one here is the pai kwat. It's basically um, black bean spare ribs, pork spare ribs. And then I'll show you the rest once we uh, get through this one. This here is tasu tong fun. It's basically a rice roll with barbecue pork and coriander, but I will pick out the coriander. Here is the siu mai. This looks different from the one in Toronto. Here is ha gao. It's basically a shrimp dumpling. I am most excited about this steamed cake. I don't know if it's the same one that I ate um, when I was little, but I used to eat one called Malaigo and it was so good and this looks exactly like it so I'm really really excited. just walking through the IFC mall. We had dim sum early, so everything is still closed. It's actually not even 10 o'clock yet. A lot of high-end brands here, but I think we're just gonna take a look around to see what stores there are. And I don't really have anything on my list to purchase, so we're probably gonna head out and just go to the Uniqlo, which is around a 20 minute subway ride away. But, uh, oh, there's Mickey Moto over there too. <laughs> Remember when we were in Japan and I was gonna buy the Mickey Moto pearls and they were so expensive that I was like, oh. So, yeah, so we are just going to. So, so distracted. This watch is insane. They have this Santa Maria Novella. This is the perfumery pharmacy that we saw in Florence. <laughs> we are in Times Square. This is Causeway Bay, and we are on the lookout for Uniqlo. We are at dim sum number two. We are at Jin Tai Fong. These are basically, um, I don't know what you would call them. I guess they're like soup dumplings. I'm not sure which ones these are, but they might be the truffle ones. These here are the siu mai. They look so different. We actually ordered two different styles. Here is the second variety of siu mai that we got. Here's the last of what we ordered. These are basically little dessert buns. They're filled with taro paste. We are now heading to this place for milk custard and uh, yeah I literally bought the whole store at Uniqlo so I am paying the price now because it's really really heavy. So we got our milk custards. Mine is the ginger one and I got the hot and my husband got the egg one and also hot. parcels at the hotel and we are heading over to get foot massages now. We just finished the foot massage and it felt really really good. I don't like having my calves or my thighs touched so I asked her to just focus on the feet. She went like halfway up um, the calves but it was really comfortable, really relaxing. But my hubby, he got like the full treatment and the guy that did um, his foot massage was really strong so he was in a lot of pain apparently. But I was all relaxed, but it felt really good so I think we would go again. I have two places I wanted to check out for foot massage um, but we would go back to that place. That was Zen and it was at Jade Center I think it's called. So yeah, now we're gonna head back to the hotel and just 
take it easy, maybe have a little nap before uh, heading to dinner. Hubby and I are about to head out for dinner and this is going to be one of our nice meals that we booked here. The rest of the time we're just gonna be eating like really quick and easy and inexpensive meals. But tonight we're going to a restaurant called 26 by Liberty and I'm really excited about it. It's a tasting menu and it's kind of like an open kitchen type thing. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to vlog a little bit of it to show you guys. But I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. The little bomber jacket that I have on is new got this from Uniqlo today or Uniqlo the t-shirt I'm wearing is from Zara it's just really oversized this is the little skirt that I had hemmed that I showed in one of my vlogs tights are J crew and my shoes are I think these are guess and I do have my Crocs in my purse, so I'm gonna walk to the restaurant in the Crocs and then change just outside the restaurant. The restaurant is in this very um, nondescript building, and uh, it does open at seven, so we're gonna head up in a couple of minutes. Here is the restaurant. Oh. chili and then what I grate on top is uh, dried black garlic. Oh wow, that's so big. <laughs> yeah, 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 I make this like this, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think you. This congo meat, you make this fried scallop, so I take fresh scallop, slice them very thin, and we dry them so they're really dark in color. Oh. Then I cook them again. Right. So you have like a scallop congo meat. Oh. Then you have the bergamotten lemon on top. Nochmal Iranian beluga caviar. Wow. Then the, the, the green one, this is a crispy tapioca. Oh. This one here. Oh. And this one is from Italy, it's Baba di Fati like a sea plan. Oh, okay. So I want people to try and this one is what we make also, this one is Bacana. Mm -hmm. So we can eat this? Yes please. Okay. Enjoy the Thank you. <laughs> some meals today and then the uh, custard that we had was so yummy and very inexpensive five dollars each Canadian which isn't too bad considering our exchange is pretty terrible right now we're gonna head back to the hotel and I will be vlogging again tomorrow we're going on a hike tomorrow so that should be fun 
and I will see you guys then. Bye!